Hi everyone, Mark here and welcome to my guide to setting up an African sicko tank. In this section I'll be covering stock selection. For the beginner, it's quite daunting setting up an African sicko tank because there's so much to take into account regarding tank size, what fish to keep, filtration, food, water parameters. So hopefully these tips I'll be giving you over the series will, will help you out. So then we're talking to you about stock selection. I recommend that you research what type of African cichlid you want to keep first before going out and buying that tank. Okay, so you have your Lake Malawi species, Mabuna, Hawks and Peacocks, Lake Tanganyika, your Tangs, Lake Victoria, your Victorians. All require different types of diets, all have different aggression levels and also require different sized tanks. I recommend that you use forums, profile websites to try and find out what requirements they need. Regarding buying your stock, in this order this is what I would do. I would try and buy from local breeders first. Their knowledge would be a lot better than your average local fish shop and also the quality and the price will be a lot better. Things to watch out for when you're buying fish from a local fish shop is a dreaded mixed tank. You don't know really what's in this mix tank and to a beginner like myself I went to a local fish shop, had a small fish tank, not adequate for what I was keep, wanted to keep and I bought 10 um, Lake Malawi species from the mixed selection tank and I ended up with Benestas, all sorts and these were outgrow my tank within a month. So really do your research first because it's just going to cause you more problems buying fish that you don't know nothing about. So yeah, so you've got your local breeders, use that first. Um, forums, use their for sale section. Because 99% of the time, the prices are going to be a lot cheaper and the quality of the fish is going to be a lot better. And also the guys that are selling them, they're going to know a lot more than your local fish shop. They'll be able to answer your questions regarding what type of food they require, tank size, what aggression levels and ratios to male to female. So now you, you know, you've had a good look and research regarding what you want to keep. You want to be looking species wise. This is where it gets quite complicated because some species can't be kept together. The chances of hibernation, uh, aggression levels. So really do your research regarding that as well before you start putting them in a the tank because you could add what, uh, a new colony into your tank before you know it, they're all killing each other. So all I can say is research, research and more research before going out and buying your tank. Other things to watch out for as well, if you're buying fish from a local fish shop uh, or pet store, if you're not 100% sure if that's the fish label, that's what it says on the tank, don't buy it. Ask the person who owns the store if you can take a picture of the tank if you've got a camera handy. And if you're a member of a forum, upload that picture onto the forum and get some feedback. You know, if it's not a hybrid uh, and it's just mislabeled wrong, by all means, go back and buy it. Dietary wise, it's quite complicated as well. Um, so do your research on that. You need to really find out what type of food they deserve uh, to be eating because, you, you know, you can't feed African cichlids, blood worm all the time, which is going to cause Malawi bloat. A lot of beginners do that. The local guy at the pet, sh pet store or local fish shop will tell you, yeah, it's fine, it's not a problem. Two weeks on the line, they're all upside down, swimming in circles with Malawi bloat and they're dying. So be careful of that as well. Also, regarding ratio to male to female, when you have a good look and you found what type of Mabuna or Haps, Peacocks, Tang, Victorians you want to keep, then you need to start asking the question, do I need to breed them? Do I want an all male setup? Well, these, this is my guide for setting up something like a breeding tank, which I've sort of, it's not a breeding tank, behind me, 
but there's males and females and they're the same species and they do breed. And if you see my other videos, I've got a fry evolution series going as well, so you can see the fry there. Um, try and always get two males to around about three to five females. Buying two males will will help because one will be dominant, one will be subdominant. So the, the, the dominant male will always be coloured up. And the more females you buy, um, it's a lot less stressful on them because if you just buy, say, three males and one female, the males are going to be hounding that female all the time. Uh, it's going to be stressful for her and eventually she's probably going to die. Uh, if you want an all male tank, by all means, it's open to you, just make sure you've got the right size tank. Um, I've personally tried an all male Mabuna tank and it worked quite well. Um, you know, regarding Haps and Peacocks, all males are beautiful tanks, really nice show tanks. Um, regarding tank selections, this is always after researching what type of African cichlid you want to keep. If you go and buy a tank that's only say two foot in length and then you go out and buy ten haps, well you're out of money because then you're going to have to buy a bigger tank within a month's time or even soon depending on what size uh, you know, hap or peacock you've bought even Mabuna, Tanganyikans and Victorians. You've got to research how big they grow. That's very important because five months down the line your tank's going to be so overcrowded, so small, it's going to be unfair on the fish that you're keeping. So take that into account as well. Okay, going back to using your local fish shops, um, nine times out of ten, they'll have the mixed tanks and also probably specialise in African cichlids as well. But I recommend trying to find those local fish shops that specialise in African cichlids. And the guy's going to be so knowledgeable and they'll be able to help you out regarding stock selection, diets, aggression, tank size. So that's really it for the, the first episode of how to set up an African cichlid tank. If you have any questions or any queries, please leave me a comment. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, it is just basically my guide. Uh, I'm sure I haven't covered everything or every aspect of how to set up an African cichlid tank in this specific episode. This is just covering my guide to stock selection. So thanks for watching.